day I lost count. Um, we're apparently going to the mall. We're not going in my car. Don't get in my car. Okay. So I, I, I don't know what's happening. I just, I just know car. I'm not exaggerating when I say this is how I have to sit. Like, look at my neck. My head is against the roof of the car. I should let you sit up front. Put your fucking seatbelt on. I told you to sit you didn't. I said, I'll let you drive. Well, you didn't. No, you didn't. Deja vu. I've been in this place before. But not with them. No response. Okay. <laughs> Guess where we are again. We apparently have the same ritual. <laughs> Zero. I'm not going in this store, but I just want to point this out. If you haven't seen this show, there's a problem. My prediction was correct. I saw the toy store and I was just like, Kat's gonna wanna go in here. Hedgehog. Hedgehog. I told you it was Cat's store. I said it when I was here with Christy. I think it's huge. No. This big bad boy. You should tag that, man. No tag, not for sale. The lantern on the flip that glows in the dark. It glows, nice. The lantern glows in the dark? In the dark. Stop. How much is that? Two fifty. Thank you. Right down there. You're not allowed to. Why not? Because I have some. You're not allowed to. Why not? Take a little bit of money. You made a dumb decision. I'll take half a pen. Half a pen? I'll take half a pen. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take half a pen. God, no. Not allowing that. Alright. Cat's at work. I'm with this dude. I have no idea what's going on. I just know that, like, we're going to be heading back to the apartment and seeing what Christy has planned. Do you do blow job? You get a little, little, you know? <laughs> that time I was recording, but we didn't get the context. <laughs> Even better. By the way, we're making tortillas. Tortilla. All right, let me pull up the recipe. <laughs> we really just fucking said roll reversal. <laughs> uh, I'm the one to buy that energy right now, not you. Hard. My foot hit the broom and I thought I hit a spider and I almost cried. Nice. But not nice to him. This is still slightly wet on the inside. Just use the towel. Just like other things. You're wet on the inside, Tim? I didn't know you had a vagina. There are a lot of things you don't know about me. <laughs> one cup of water, then half a cup of butter, which is one stick. It probably would have been easier if this was softened, but it's fine. We can um, pop it in the microwave real quick and I'll soften it up. It's going in there anyway. Uh, okay. Someone said train whistle. <laughs> <laughs> I have too much energy right now. I don't know why. Oh, it makes for bad it makes for better content. So the way I always do this is I just chop up the butter in like smaller pieces, but this is really not wanting to do it for some reason. And then I just shove it all straight into the water. It looks really weird, but this is how I was taught to make these, so it's how I do it. Trust the process. And then I normally just take this and pop it straight into the microwave until all the butter melts into the water and can be mixed in. While that's doing that, we can start on dry ingredients, which is flour, baking powder, and salt. It's a very simple recipe. They taste really good. So we need three cups of flour. I was really tempted to drink this monster earlier, but I know that Kat wants to try it, so... No. Fuck Kat. Not like that. Yeah, this isn't melted all the way, so I'm gonna be putting it back in the microwave for a bit. See, here it is, one cup egg. You are the penis, Columbus. You are the penis. 
you haven't seen any other videos of ours and wondering what we're doing, we take a bunch, chop it up to get rid of any like possible air bubbles or like breaks in there, swipe all of it, make a perfect recommend. Cut it like cocaine. Essentially, yeah. Next, we need a tablespoon of baking powder and then two teaspoons of salt. So, where are them other things? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one tablespoon of baking powder. That's one teaspoon, two teaspoons. And then you add in the melted butter and water mixture into all of the dry ingredients. And then that's, that's it. Just mix that. I just like starting to mix with a fork because like when you first start off it's really really sticky so it's tough to mix it up with your fingers. Once it basically stops sticking to the fork then I normally just like get as much of it off the fork as possible. Did you wash your hands? What? Did you wash your hands? Okay. And then mix while it is burning the shit out of you. So now that we have a bit of a workable dough, I normally put this off to the side. We're still gonna use it though. And yes, this is clean. And you basically just keep on doing this until it firms up just a little bit. And then you put it back in the bowl, cover it up, and wait 10 minutes. The camera can probably see your face and probably can't see mine. I'm also the short time of advantage. <laughs> for once being short has an advantage. <laughs> I am going to trust that this is good enough, and we are going to stick it back in the bowl, and then we gotta cover it, so I guess we will use aluminum foil, because we don't have any saran wrap, which is what you're technically supposed to use. We broke. I am going to make shift a way to do this. I guess I know what I'm buying when I go shopping tomorrow, so I gotta go shopping tomorrow, I'm bringing you with me. Okay, oh my god. I know it's not scissors. They're literally right here, Tim. Hey, I'm legally blind. Look at all the hair in my eyes. You want to try me to legally blind him? I can't even see you right now, Tim. You just can't see me. You try to throw me with the scissors, I can't even see them. I, I didn't threaten you with the scissors. I'm saying if you did throw me with the scissors. Makeshift wrap. I'm gonna have to get another bag if I want to cover that entirely. I got sweat in my eye. Yeah, there we go. Close enough. So we covered that and wait for 10 minutes. So at 440, we will be back and doing the next part. It's been 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes and uh, we still have our dough here. So the next part of this is uh, back onto the thing. We take all of it and then we make tiny balls of dough. And then we stick them right back in. I always just pinch it with like the okay symbol. I got all of you, by the way. Be careful about the okay symbol nowadays because apparently it's a symbol of white power now. I got informed that by a uh, lady at when I went to Jimmy Hula's. And I saw because of that that I was a white supremacist, but they saw the rainbow pen on my backpack. And I was like, oh, I, I, I'm pretty sure not white supremacist. But I have one of those pins on my backpack, and I purposely have it there, that way you can gotcha people, kind of thing. But apparently, like, according to them, and like I even looked it up, apparently, symbol of white supremacist now, so I'm like, wonderful. <sighs> God damn it. I guess I just got myself canceled. <laughs> but why? Like, out of anything, why that? I don't know. But I heard <laughs> Wait a minute. John Cena? Confirmed white supremacist? Oh, shit. Because <laughs> <laughs> the lady legitimately thought I was like a white supremacist because of the fact that I had it on my bag, and it didn't help that it was a white hand on the back background. It probably didn't help the case, but it was right next to a rainbow pen. I think it said love is love or something like that. Uh, I I don't think white supremacist. I don't think white supremacist and gay is being put. Yeah. So this is the last dill ball here. And now we've got all of them here. So then we cover them back up again and leave them for another 10 minutes. And then once that is done, we cook them up on a frying pan. Grab our rolling pin 
and our dough balls. Take flour. Actually, we should probably move the camera so we can see like the entire process. You're coming with me. So I'm gonna go to this side so the camera can hopefully also see you. Nice. <laughs> Take flour. I normally just rub it right onto the rolling pin and let it all fall onto the uh, onto the counter. Get as much get an area made. Then we take one of the dough balls, cover it in flour, flatten it, and then you just roll it out trying to get it as round as possible. Hopefully not fold it over like that. And then you just keep on rolling it out until you can start to see through it a little bit. And then you just throw it right on the pan. Can you see it in the video? I found! <laughs> <laughs> we doing great. I'm turning this thing on. I should have had to take my beds! Alright, so... Yes, I'm putting my hand in a frying pan. Get over it. This will get easier as it goes on, but what you should be doing is cooking it until, like, some bubbles start to form in the dough. And then once that happens for enough, then you can flip it over and cook it for a little bit longer, and then flip it over again and then you can see both sides to make sure that they are cooked enough. And then just take it off, and you've got yourself tortillas. It's stuck. Nice, it's not sticking. That is the best thing that could have happened, and there you go. The classic little mark that you see on tortillas. Exactly. My favorite thing about these is that they are good enough to be eaten just straight. You do not need to put anything else on them, and they will taste good. And then, there you go close up of what we're doing here. Flatten them out, get flour on both sides, roll it out trying to get it as round as possible. I'm failing miserably. It's a triangle right now. Listen to the guys outside playing with a nail gun. These are getting a little bit awkward shaped, but it's fine. So then you take it off, put it in the pan. Yes, I'm sticking my hand in a hot pan, almost burning it multiple times. Then uh, the bubbles immediately start to form. So like, I just wait until they get a little bit bigger so it like gets those marks. Then you take it, flip it over. That's what you got. Do the same thing, wait for bubbles to start rising. Take it and flip it again. Give it just a little bit more time. Take it off. And then slide it right here. And you've got yourself tortillas. Every Hispanic person is just cringing at me right now. If anyone wants to uh, show themselves making it better than me, just tag me in the comments or tag me in the description of your video. I'll watch it. I'll comment. You think I won't, but I will. I know I'm not gonna get many. We've got a shitload of tortillas now. I don't know exactly how much, but like, nice and easy to fold. And like I said, you can eat these straight and they taste amazing. So, uh, now we are going to this place in Universal, apparently. It's called Universal City Walk. It's basically just like an area of a bunch of restaurants, entertainment, stuff like that. It's also like the main entrance to like um, Islands of Adventure and like the actual Universal Orlando Resorts kind of thing. But like the entirety of City Walk is free. You typically just have to pay for parking, but parking is free after six. And it's currently 7.57, which is why we're going. Awesome. So, it's just a fun area to walk around. Oh God, the camera isn't focusing. Hey, I'm right here, thank you. So, we have made it to Universal or wherever, uh, City, City Walk. Yeah, city All right, so now we just need to figure out where it is that we are going.
to be down. Hey. Recognize that. Trusty steed. I have handles. Handles. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I don't think you're gonna be gripping much. Well, I have tiny hands. May I ask what it is that we are now doing? We are now leaving. Cause we finished up. We just walked everywhere. I decided I had to get one more drink before we left. <laughs> Who's got a drinking problem? <laughs> You made it look like that was you. <laughs> nope, it's me. Doggy. 